Opposition CCC leader Nelson Chamisa says his party will not lose sleep over Zimbabwe Electoral Commission's flawed delimitation report as supporters will vote for the opposition in whatever ward or constituency they find themselves in. The ZTC delimitation report, which was recently gazetted, has been widely discredited amid concerns that there was gerrymandering of constituencies and wards in favor of the ruling ZANU PF party. Addressing a campaign rally in Gutu, Mashingo, on Saturday, Chamisa said his party was eyeing a landslide victory despite the uneven playing field. This is the year for citizens' victory for change. I heard some people with no supporters have challenged the delimitation report in the courts, but we are not worried about the boundaries created. Our party is everywhere. Even if they move people, the people will vote in those new areas. We are ready to win. This time I will score without looking at the gate, Chamisa said. The opposition MDCT led by Douglas Monzoya last week approached the Constitutional Court seeking nullification of the ZTC delimitation report and postponement of election dates. Critics yesterday warned Chamisa against being carried away by the huge turnout at his rallies, saying he should concentrate more on demanding real electoral reforms to guarantee a level political playing field. With Waters Rand, university-based political analyst Romeo Chasara, said opposition parties must not allow ZTC to use the discredited voters' role and polls slated for the August this year. The constitution is supreme and sacred. In this case, I think Monzora is right to test the legality of the whole delimitation exercise. Opposition parties cannot cherry-pick battles to fight when the constitution is under attack. Meanwhile, the CCC has raised concerns of the slow pace at which ZTC officials were operating under the ongoing voter registration blitz. The party said the exercise will leave thousands of first-time potential voters unregistered due to frustration. The process began on March 12 and ends on March 26, after ZTC extended it by another five days. Initially, it was scheduled to end on March 21. CCC Election Directorate Representative Ellen Shiriedenga said the malfunction in biometric voter registration equipment and the power crisis in the country would affect the registration process. ZTC Chief Elections Official said he was out of office and referred Newsday to junior ZTC staffers who kept referring the matter back to their superiors.